Hi, in this video we will be revising the concepts of HCF and LCF. Highest common factor HCF or greatest common divisor GCD is defined as the greatest number which is common factor of a given set of numbers. Let's say we have 12 and 18. 2 is a factor of both the numbers. Four, uh, 3 is a factor of both the numbers. And we can see 6 is also a factor of both the numbers. And of all the common factors, these have the highest common factor. This, this is called HCF or GCD of these numbers. And least common multiple LCM is the smallest number which is a multiple of all the given numbers. So let's take the same set of numbers 12 and 18. We can see that 180 is a multiple of both the numbers. Of all the multiples of these numbers, the smallest common multiple is 36. This is called LCM. And let's say given a set of numbers, how do we calculate the HCF and LCM of the number? There are various ways in which to in which we can find HCF and LCM, but I prefer factorization, which is quite obvious. Uh, let's say we have numbers 136, 144, and 168. To find HCF or LCM, what we do is first we prime factorize all these numbers. So we write 136 as product of prime numbers. Uh, we can write it as uh, 2 cube into 17 2. and uh, 144 can be written as 2 power 4 into 3 square and 168 can be written as 2 cube into 3 into 7. Now to find HCF of these three numbers, what it is, a factor, HCF should be factor of all these three numbers. And we take each of the prime numbers which is there in all, all the three numbers. So the prime factor 2 is there in all the numbers, 17 is there here but it's not here, 3 is there in these two but it's not there here, and 7 is not in these two. So the only common prime factor of these three numbers is 2. So take it, the 2, and of all the powers of 2 in the numbers, take the least power, 2 cube. So this is the HCF of 2. And LCM is something similar, but in this what we do is, we take all the prime numbers which are there. And we have 2, we have 3, 7 and 17. So we take all the three. 2 into 3 into 7 into 17. And now take the highest power of each of these numbers in this. The highest power of 2 here is 4. The highest power of 3 is 2. 7 is 1 and 17 is 1. So this will be the LCM of this number. And let us say we have two numbers, something like say 2 cube into 3 square into 5 power 4. And another number. 2 square into 3 cube into 5 into 7. If you need to find HCF of these two numbers, then take the common prime factors. We have 2, 3, 5. All the three are there. 2, 3, 5. And now take the least of the powers. The least of 2, 3 into is 2. Here it's 2. 4 and 1 it's 1. This is a HCF. Time to LCM, take all the prime factors. We have 2, 3, 5, and 7. And when it comes to LCM, we will take the highest power. So here it's 3, here it's 3, here it's 4, and here it's 1. So this is a LCM. And certain interesting things which we need to know is uh, given two numbers A and B, let us say the LCM of these two numbers is L and HCF of these two numbers is H. Then we have A into B is equal to L into H. So this is for two numbers. And something else which we need to note here is uh, two 
two numbers A and B are said to be relatively prime or co-prime if their HF is 1. That means if there are two numbers which don't have a common factor, they are called relatively prime. So let's take a 14 and uh, say 25. 14, or, 14 is not a prime number, 25 is not a prime number. The GCD of these two numbers is 1. So, though these two are not prime numbers, since HCF is 1, they don't have a common prime number, a common factor. So, these two are called relatively prime or co-prime. And LCM is useful while we add fractions. Let us say we need to add half to one third. Well, you obviously you know we take LCM of two hundred that's six, we get three plus two, which is five. So this is one application of LCM. And I would like to take one very simple problem. Uh, let's say we need to find the value of 7 minus 1, 3 by 4, minus 4, 7 by 8. One thing which we can do is we can say 7 minus convert this into a perfect fraction that's uh, 7 by 4 minus 39 by 8. And then take LCM of 8 and then add all this. That's one way to do it. Another way to do is write this as 7 minus of 1 plus 3 by 4 minus of 4 plus 7 by 8. This will be quite simple. Let's write uh, 2 minus 3 by 4 minus 7 by 8. Well, this is all easy. So that's how this concludes the review of the same and LCF. And that also concludes the theory part of module 1 of this aptitude series. Uh, few problems will be uploaded onto the portal as assignments. We suggest you solve them. And uh, there is also a forum in the mentoring area, in the mentoring portal. You can make quite use of it by discussing about the problems there. Our mentors also will be actively involved there. See you in module 2. Thank you.